The levels is good, the levels is good. Sounds good to me. Right. Variable valve time. And give you more. to another video. I kind of want to do a short little clip today talking about the variable valve timing. I obviously don't know shit about this, so that's why I brought in the pro. New guy, you want to say hi? Hi. So, I uh, kind of got the professional in here to kind of explain and further dig into it, what exactly is. Because especially now with uh, the new bikes coming in, big fan, are you a fan of the new Harley bikes? Or no? I mean, hearing that they have the VVT in them, I'm pretty intrigued as to what they're going to offer? Yeah, absolutely. There's a there's a lot that that that, that, that system itself can can give to the bikes as far as both emissions and power. So what what, what exactly is VVT to the to the average Joe who doesn't know what that is? Because you know a lot of us don't know exactly all the details on it. As it's as it's a, a initialed variable valve timing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, lots of in fact I think almost every vehicle that's made nowadays. Uh, internal combustion wise has some sort of variable valve timing um, as far as how it's operated if it's through uh, through solenoids or whatever the case is um, but they but they all have it that's why we have so many four cylinder engines that are 1.5 liters or two liters that are making 250 horsepower or you know just keeping up with today's traffic uh, and, and what that does is it uses it uses the the ECM and, and different sensors to understand where the RPM is and how much load you're trying to give so then it can uh, advance the, the timing for uh, the timing of the cams I should say. Mm -hmm. It should it could advance the timing of the cam to give it more or horsepower or more torque depending on what's being called for and again it also helps with the emissions as well. Now does that come up at a certain power band? Uh, it depends on, on what the ECM or the computer itself and, and whatever vehicle is being called for. So uh, let's say we're looking at the Screaming Eagle again and you're, you're trying to rev out some serious RPMs in there, the VVT will kick in around mid-range RPM and start to advance the camshafts and give you, uh, and give you more <laughs> of all that. And then they could, stay, uh, they could stay retarded for more lower end <laughs> tuning. Oh, that Don't laugh at that. Pretty much it. It's just a, it's just a matter of how it gets operated is uh, is what the question is. I had, I haven't seen that yet. I, and, and like I said, I know probably about four different ways that I've seen car manufacturers try to establish some sort of variable timing. Well, you mentioned uh, it's kind of like what Honda did with VTEC back in the day. To a degree, uh, VTEC has both the variable timing and lift. VTEC was the shit. Not in my world. <laughs> I'm a GDM guy, man. When it comes to cars, uh, but that has but that has variable timing and lift. So the so it would actually shift the uh, the cam lobes at, at a certain RPM and give you another cam lobe that was right next to it and give you also you know higher lift at, at higher RPMs. So once everything advanced itself, that was that VTEC that kicked in. Yeah. Um, this is not going to have any kind of variable lift. It, it's we're we're only turning one cam you know, plus and minus a, a hair, which is still kind of behind because everything now that has an intake and an exhaust cam, much like our earlier twin cam, you can, you can tune, turn both of those cams, whatever is needed, you know, whatever the ECM needs in yeah. order to do what it's asking for. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm eager to see how, how they're going to ride though, man, because it's, it's pretty cool. And I know uh, the Pan America already has it from what I know, right? Yep, Pan America has it. The, it was the RevTech engine. No, I forget that. Rev Max, the Rev Max, the Rev Max engine, yeah. and the Sportster yeah. also. Yeah. So I don't know. That, that's all coming out. Good news. I just want to dig into that. Like I said, I wanted to bring in a pro to explain everything. Mike, you son of a bitch, get my bars done. I'm still here waiting. Some bitch. Some bitch. It's a sad day. I came here today to get my bars done, my triple tree installed, and um, I was kicked to the curb. Well, here are my bars that were supposed to be on my bike, but they're not because they're still in the box. It's not my fault. It's totally his fault. You're not even in frame. Get in frame, man. So I don't I just, want to be. So I just, they, they can see your, your, your face full of shame. It's not my fault. Some bitch. Some bitch. Listen, guys, if you guys want to are in the local area, want to get some jobs done to your bike and get your bars installed, 
There are a lot of camps that have been going on these bikes lately, right? Yeah. You guys are like the, the, the camp shop now. <clears throat> um, stop by Tour Custom Cycles. I, gotta, I, gotta, I even came over here representing today, man. Oh, sh yeah. Oh my god. That's it. You want me to take your bars? Uh, uh, yeah, you need to put it back in the box. For the bit long, I Thanks, man. Um, on that note, what, <laughs> what is, do, you, do you like the design of the road glide and the new street glide? I do, You're of course. You're not a fan of it or what? No, I love yeah. it. I love it, man. I love LEDs. I love the I love the inlay of the, the headlights, how they're just making it more uh, like like one piece and molded modern, in. Yeah. yeah, it's more modern for sure. Later. And you could definitely, you know, if you if you've seen a lot of these more modern bikes, you know, often, and you look back on an older bike that's I don't know, seven, eight years old or whatever, you can you can really see the age in them now because of of stuff like that yeah. that they're putting in these bikes, which is awesome. Because even lo looking at the even looking at the the current street life fair now and the older ones, looking at the brand new design one, now you kind of talk like, oh damn, like that does look kind of old. Yeah, it, it was about time for them to redesign it. I say that every time I look at my bike. My bike is old as shit now. Yeah, it's alright, man. It's just like you. No, not old. <laughs> not even forty yet. Uh, I know the soul patch tells differently, but exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's gonna be. If you're in the local area, stop by Torque Custom Cycles. Hit them up. Other information will be down below. Mike is the main tech over here, and we got a new guy. He puts tires on. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like always, up the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Bye. God damn it. God damn it, Ryan. Some bitch. Failure leads to success. Remember that. <laughs> I thought I did it. Hair on this fucking piece of shit. Oh, uh, let, let's see. Well, which was your coffee? This one? Ah. Uh, caramel craze. That's me. Caramel craze? That's the tough guy coffee right there. That shit will fucking beefing up anybody, man. <laughs> That coffee will actually take hair off your balls. <laughs> <laughs>